This is Dr. Pam Manfredo Curtis, and this is Corner Office Confidential. And I'm talking to my guest, Kurt Welling, about AmeriCares when he was leading that, the personality of his organization at the time. Um, it was what we call a feeling organization, um, it, which at their best, they really care about people. And based on your mission, it really makes sense. Um, and they will you know, share cards and, and, you know, make donations directly to people. They'll want to be in their face and, and show the caring and concern. Um, the, the people will be first to them. However, um, when it's a difficult time, they can become victims or, um, you know, show their, their loneliness and their devastation by what's transpired. And it's really hard to move that. And you, who are an analytic type, you were, you were, you're, in personality wise, you always, it was fun because you have an entrepreneurial profile, which um, loves to start businesses and run businesses. And yet you morphed when you took over AmeriCares um, and became more of an F, like me, a feeling type. Mm -hmm. um, what was that like to lead, though, this organization at this difficult time, you know, with sort of their personality when it was at its best versus when it was more challenging? Well, there are a couple of things that stand out in my memory. Mm -hmm. um, you persuaded me that it would be a useful thing to take the top 20 or so leaders in the organization go somewhere so that we could begin to introduce them to the idea of the work. We could begin to give them some training in uh, in some of the techniques of giving giving and receiving feedback and, yeah. and so on. And um, we'd had a bunch of conversations about my modeling the behavior that I was trying to create as a core a behavioral standard for the organization. And that meant being um, authentic and being open and accessible and being approachable. Yeah. And um, I remember one occasion when I apparently wasn't doing so well <laughs> because the message was pretty clearly, you're intimidating. We were in the Adirondacks. Right. We were in the Adirondacks at this mm -hmm. retreat and we went for a walk mm -hmm. and you said, you know, you're an intimidating person. Mm. And I think I said in a loud voice, I am not an intimidating person. <laughs> and, uh, and, 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 and the next comment was, you really don't understand the impact that your personality has on other people. Mm. And that was one of those comments and observations that really stayed with me for a long time. Mm. Because what I've now come to believe is that many leaders and many people in their daily lives are not necessarily either consistently aware of or from time to time are aware of the impact that their personality has on other people. 